to my channel bringing you my empties for the month of June and I have to say this is a lot uh, the total is going to be down in the description box and I've already added it up so you might want to go ahead and check because I'm telling you I am shocked this month uh, plus I've got plenty of makeup empties so I'm just going to go ahead and get started I'm going to do them by category and I'm just going to start with masks uh, the first one is the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. I did enjoy this one. This is the only one that I've enjoyed. In fact, I think that it was this one. Was it this one? Yes. This is the one. This was um, metallic all over the face, plus it didn't have that tingly burning sensation that Glam Glow normally has, and it smelled really nice, too. The Glam Glow Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment, the Fresh Rose Face Mask, which I would never, ever buy. You have these rose petals that get stuck to your face, and good. The Sephora Green Tea Eye Mask, the Sephora Instant Hydrogel Eye Mask. I would not buy this again. It was kind of, I mean, it felt good and everything, but you have to literally have it over top of your eyes and um, you have to shut them for long periods of time. I'm not all about that. I also went through five of the Rodial uh, Glam Tox Neck Mask for Firm and Tone. I had to double check to make sure that that was right and it's like there was five Thursdays in the month and I always mask on Thursdays. Now to get into the serums, I went through the Rodial Glam Tox Serum. I even opened it up, I tore it up, because I wanted to make sure I got every last drop, and I absolutely love this stuff. I went through um, the Double Serum by, Claren by Clarins, and then the Philosophy Time in a Bottle uh, Repair Serum. They're just little tiny foil samples. The Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I went through this and a foil sample of this. I would never buy it. I think that it stinks. It just, it's foul. It's foul. The Origins Plant Scription Anti-Aging Cleanser. I actually really enjoyed this. I, you guys know that my holy grail is the Purity Made Simple. This right here makes me rethink that. I mean, I love purity and everything, but if this was a lower price, I would go to this. I really like this. It was really refreshing, and I felt like my face was clean. I went through uh, the Belief, uh, Belief in Truth Hungarian Water Essence. I enjoyed this moisturizer a lot. It had sort of like, obviously, like a water, like a watery texture, and it sunk into your skin really fast. The Lakaton uh, Divine Cream. I think that that's what it's called. Is it called the Divine Cream? Yeah, the Divine Cream. It was alright. The Caudalie Vino Source Cream Sorbet. It smells like crayons. I would never buy it, but if I got it for free, it's, it's your standard moisturizer. It doesn't really do anything special. Clarins uh, Extra Firming Day Wrinkle Lifting Cream. And a foil sample of the Dr. Robux uh, Pure Hydration Moisturizer. These are the samples right here, this lasts a while. This can last you a couple days. So it was good. I liked it. I didn't mind it at all. The Rohua Omega 9 Hair Mask. I know that a lot of people were talking about the smell, but I didn't find that it stunk. At least mine didn't. And I had so much crap in front of me that whenever I went to put stuff away and reorganize everything, I forgot to mention my nail polishes. So, I went through the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Top Coat, and I love this stuff, but it's so annoying because once you get down to about this point, you know, it just gets too goopy. and it, you just can't use it, and I don't use thinner or anything, so I just end up buying another one. I get so annoyed by that, but this one did last just a little bit longer than the last one, so I do try to push it, and then it just looks awful on the nails no matter what you do. Uh, here is the Julep Nail Color in Lillian. Now the package implied that this was a base coat, so that is what I used it as, and I don't like Julep polishes. I just... 
I just don't like them. I don't like the packaging. I don't like anything. Even this broke. I can't open this. Well, there you go. See? And so I had to go ahead and use it like that. It's just, this is not worth the money. And a mini Zoya uh, nail polish in Troy. I find that the minis have a different uh, formula than the regular size ones. At least this one did. This one chipped pretty much every single day. It was opaque in just one coat though, so that was nice. So there you go. Sorry for the extra clip. I went through a Batiste dry shampoo. I know, only one, right? It's because I got the biggest one. One of the big ones that you can get at TJ Maxx that's double this size because it ends up being cheaper. So if you guys have been buying this at Ulta, check out your TJ Maxx because, yeah. The Saki Bomb Nourishing Conditioner. This was actually enough for one full use, so I was happy about that. I wouldn't buy it or anything, but yeah. The Avita Thickening Tonic. I really, really liked this. Uh, it does have a pump, which is really nice, and I would consider purchasing this in the future. And I'm wondering if TJ Maxx has something like this. If you guys have seen that in TJ Maxx, let me know in the comments below dropping something. I think every single video I drop something. This is the Way Wave Spray. I love this. I previously decluttered this, but I undecluttered it because I just wanted to go ahead and give it a try. I didn't give it a fair shot, so I figured that I needed to, and uh, I really enjoy that. It is kind of sticky on your hair, but um, yeah, you'll have. To, uh, right now, I'm using the verb uh, sea spray that I got from in my Sephora play box and I do enjoy that one better it's not as sticky and it does the same thing it creates waves without having to curl your hair I went through um, uh, Bath and Body Works bath gel and shampoo which I did use as a shower gel this was uh, whenever I went on vacation this was in the hotel so yeah and then I went through a White Rain Body Wash Energizing Citrus. Am I the only one uh, that only uses a little tiny bit of shower gel at a time or body wash at a time? And then whenever you project pan, you feel like maybe you're dirty because you're not going through as much as everybody else. I don't know. That's just... I'm clean, I swear. It's just it, I only use a little tiny bit. That's all you need. I went through two of the Bath & Body Works White Citrus Lotions. Again, this was in the hotel room, so why not, right? It's Bath & Body Works. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take advantage of that. I went through a Tarte uh, Maracuja C Brighter Eye Treatment. This is the full size. Uh, I enjoyed this. However, with how fast I went through this, I would not purchase this again. I just wouldn't. It is nice, though. I went through um, Victoria's Secrets Heavenly. This right here, it smells so good, but it's not worth the money because I went through this in nine days and I was so disappointed in that. And for $18, just now. I have plenty of perfume samples, thanks to the Turn and Burn Project Pan. I have three of the Marc Jacobs Daisy. Three uh, of the Giorgio Armani C. I enjoy these two fragrances so much. The Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. The Tory Burch uh, Jolie Floor Blue. The YSL Mon Puri. And the Mew Mew Lay Blue, which I absolutely adore this perfume. I went through a Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. The Tatcha Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. And I do like this. However, if you're going to go ahead and buy a high-end cleansing oil, I highly recommend the Dermalogica one. 
I just find that um, it removes your makeup better and it leaves your face feeling actually clean whereas this one not so much it kind of leaves a residue a little bit and you have to wash your face afterwards not that there's anything wrong with that it both does the job I just find that Dermalogica is better the Almay eye makeup remover liquid and the Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover I did enjoy this but this one I hit myself in the face this one burned my eyes and this one did not so I would stay away from the Almay one for sure this was nice I got this in a Sephora play box now we're going to get into the exciting stuff. We're going to get into the makeup empties. I went through a CoverGirl Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. I'm in the shade 820. I enjoy this foundation. I've been through a few of those. The MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance in Radiant Pink. It's just one of the .2 samples, the .2 ounce samples. I went through the uh, three MAC uh, mini mascaras. This is an Extreme Dimension Lash, Upward Lash, and Zoom Lash. Some of these are interesting. Some of them last a really long time and other ones only last a few days. It's very strange. I'm using one right now and it just won't die. Now as far as MAC, MAC, MAC mascaras, I'm not a big fan of them. They're okay, but I would not go out of my way to purchase them at all. This is the Urban Decay Eyeliner in Heartless. This was limited edition, I think, last year, the year before, and it was full size, and I went through it. I used it up until it started to um, jab my eye a little bit, and I can't sharpen it anymore, so it is done. I went through the Urban Decay Razor Sharp Liquid Eyeliner in Fireball, and I'm so happy that it is done. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit on there, but really, it's just, it's, there's just not enough. You don't get enough product, as you can see. You just don't, and it becomes really hard to work with, so this is done. The NYX Lip Liner in the, the shade Bloom. I'm so excited to be done with this. So, so excited to be done with this. This lasted forever. The Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Rose Gold. I can't even roll it up anymore. I ended up using this as a base for highlighters. I've used it in my inner corner. I used it um, as an eyeshadow base. I've used this multiple ways just to use it up. Uh, I would not purchase this. I just, I don't know, I'm not into cream eyeshadows or cream highlighter bases, but it was okay. It came in my Sephora play box, so this was just a deluxe eye sample. Went through uh, a MAC Stroke Cream, the .2 ounce. I do enjoy this. I have combo to oily skin. I lean more towards the oily skin, and this does not make me look oily. So, you know, I've got plenty of these MAC um, Radiant Prep and Prime things in my collection. I think I have eight left. I also went through a foil sample of the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. This right here. There was not enough to even justify giving me a foil sample. If you're going to give me a foil sample, give me something that I could actually use all over my face. So I don't even know if I would buy this. However, the IT Cosmetic CC Cream, they give you a lot in this sample. And I absolutely love this. I definitely would purchase this in the future when it's on sale and if I need a foundation at the time. Now... The last two items I have are so exciting for me. This is my crowning achievement for the month, I feel. 
this is the MAC lipstick in the shade Pink Plaid. I am completely done. So that is just the plastic. I am so, so happy. So I could stick this in my Back to MAC bag. Now, I completely finished an Urban Decay eyeshadow in the shade Solstice. This is one of the Moonstone Dust eyeshadows. It's completely done. I am so, you have no idea. I'm sad because I do love this and I wanted to run out and repurchase this, but I'm gonna wait. Sometimes Ulta has their 21 Days of Beauty and for a Platinum Perk they'll have half off of the Moon Dust eyeshadow. So I'm gonna see if they're gonna do that again because I really don't wanna spend $21 again on this shadow. So yeah, that's my crowning achievement for the month. I am so, so happy. This is my first Moon Dust eyeshadow that I have finished. So those are my empties. I would say that's all, but that is almost $400 in empties and I'm so thrilled that's just in one month so what I purchased I know for a fact did not total four hundred dollars not even close so yeah I'm I'm thrilled so I hope that you go ahead and like this video and subscribe and comment and reach out to me and stay to watch the project pan craziness with some reviews and things i just mix it up but i'm a project pan fanatic so i hope to see you in my next video bye